Alright, Propane Gaming HD, and welcome to another episode of your 2012 Expedition. I completely forgot <laughs> um, what, what I was playing then. So, yeah, as you can see, just going to show you my progress very quickly through some of the groups. I've got one from Romania, one from Milona, I've completed Cyprus. I've also uh, beat Iceland once, and yeah, then my controller disconnected. I'm not really sure why. And. Yeah, I would just like to say a massive thank you to those that commented on the last video last week and liked it because it's been getting a really good response actually to this, this series. People are saying that they're really enjoying it, they're looking forward to the next one and you know, that, that makes me want to do it even more and ma makes me want to make the episode as best as I possibly can. So we came up against Belarus and I think it said if I won then a group would be unlocked which is brilliant because it means that we're making so much progress in comparison to the first few episodes. So yeah, in the 22nd minute I picked up the ball with Swift A and I put it into the back of the net. So 23 minutes gone, we were 1-0 up and yeah, we were looking pretty decent like Belarus were a good team, no doubt about it. They've got players like Alexander Kleb, and that's all I really know. I was thinking about it. I was just gonna reel. I thought I was just gonna reel off a, you know, quite a few good players, but in the end they didn't. And yeah, surprisingly they came back at us and had a decent chance there with Kulik, I think it is. He hit the post, and then they came in in the second half, and he had another chance with Chisbelevi, and he managed to put it away. And I was like, oh god, um, okay, one one, we're back at level terms and. We need to really pick up our game a bit because we seem to have dropped since we took the lead. A bit like Luster, if you like. And we did manage to do that, and we had a decent chance in the 57th minute. But Swifty's shot was well saved. And then it came back to him again, and this time he hit the post from a curling shot on the edge of the area. And then in the 68th minute, Glenn, I think I called him, got forward. And he had a shot, but it was straight at the keeper, and he managed to pick up the, like, dropping ball. And then finally, in the 80th minute, Swifty got the ball and he slammed it into the bottom corner on the edge of the area. So I was like, they're finally getting created some chances and yeah, we've managed to put one away and then we both acted like absolute idiots in the celebration. So yeah, I was like, right, that's it, we're in control of the game. But I was wrong because they came straight back and a decent a decent save by my keeper managed to keep him out. But then we also also nearly made it 3-1. Fortunately, the keeper again was on top form. So yeah, really good opening game. I mean, it was action packed, it was end-to-end -end stuff. They had chances, we had chances. And it finished Belarus 1, propane game in HD 2. So we move on and play Norway now, four-star team. And it says Portugal will be unlocked if I win, which is a massive progress. Although, if I do win, I'm not going to play them for a while because, obviously, it, it would just literally mean that I, I will probably just play a game and lose it. And it's not exactly what I want to do at the minute. So, yeah, we started off really well and we had a couple of chances in the first, like, five minutes. This time, Glenn got forward and he had a shot as well, said by the keeper. And then Swifty couldn't finish up the rebound because it was tackled but then in the 11th minute Swifty got the ball and managed to get the breakthrough and yeah it was a pretty decent finish yet yeah, again I mean like I said I am the best player in the team by far so uh, not actually by far no more because I've signed some decent players but um yeah I, I, I am the one guy I'm the main outlet if you like I'm the better striker so I'm obviously always going to be looking to get to me, I mean, that, that sounds like totally ridiculous, like I'm blowing my own trumpet and everything, but going on ratings, you know, you've got that's what you've got to do to win games. So, yeah, we had another decent chance after they had a chance in the first half, but it was still 1 0 as we moved on to the 56 minute, and Abdeleke managed to make it 2 not 2 2, not 2 2, 1 1, sorry. If you remember early on in this series, he used to score against me quite a lot. I think he got a hatch game against me when I tried to beat Norway once. But yeah, we came back and we had two decent chances. And in the second chance, we did manage to sweat it out. Swifty yet again, managing to pick up the ball from Glenn, I think, and put it into the back of the net. Unfortunately, though, straight from a free kick, that guy again, Abdeleke, managed to get the ball and put it into the back of the net. So we went into extra time. because it did finish full time. Norway 2, propane game in HD 2. And then Swifty was put beautifully through on in goal. And yeah, he managed to finish off well in the 101st minute. So... It was now 3-2, and what a game it had been. I mean, we went 1-0 up, they equalised. We went 2-1 up, they equalised, and then they came back and had a great chance there with Nordvet, but we managed to block it well and did get it away. And then in the 112th minute, I thought I could f seal the game off, finish it off, but I couldn't. It was saved by the keeper. But it did finish there, and then it finished Norway 2, propane game in HD 3. So we move on with Portugal unlocked, which is absolutely brilliant, and we managed to get... Um, not John Arnery, so we managed to get John Helgery, who was actually on loan last season at Sheffield United, the team I support. And yeah, I mean, we did replace, uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that Icelanders uh, striker name. So yeah, we replaced him and then we put Bjorn Helgery in my midfield. So I moved on to play San Marino from Norway to San Marino, you know, I thought, okay. 
this is just going to be a, a simple game. Hopefully, we'll just walk the three, not the three, even three points, because it's not a league. Hopefully, we'll just walk the game and, you know, we'll be able to beat, Cy uh, beat San Marino. So, yeah, a nice bit of skill there by Swifty. Played it to Glenn, and Glenn finished it off absolutely brilliantly. I'm just going to tell you now, when I do skill, I do not have a clue what I'm doing, apart from 360. That's the only thing I've learned in the few months of playing FIFA 12. So yeah, I really do. I really should look at trying to learn some more. And then in the, I think, like 12th minute or something, I probably dived there. I, I, that looked like a ridiculous penalty to win. But anyway, I did win it, and we did manage to get a penalty. So I stepped up to take the penalty, and as cheekily, as cockily as I could, I chipped the keeper. But the keeper was wise, and he was like, oh no, you don't. And he managed to save it, and made me look like an absolute fool. Fortunately, though, in the second half, I managed to make up for it by putting the ball away into the bottom corner in the 58 minutes. To put a 2 up and almost seal the three points. Then my PVR cut out as I got my hat trick, although it was a sweaty goal, so, you know, not really going to say much. Apart from that, I think it was me that got the goal. I'm just going to look now. Oh, no, it wasn't me. Oh, no, I, yes, I did get the goal, but it did not get my hatch. I forgot that, obviously, Glenn was the one that scored the first goal. So, yeah, then we unlocked Moldova, and I decided to play them. I thought, okay, I will play Moldova. Hopefully, it'll just get me two simple wins towards the end of the episode. But it wasn't say, a simple win. It really was a hard-fought result, whatever that result was. As You, you know, I, I, I should have gone into the game thinking... They, they were going to be hard. I mean, me, me and my friend have played. We played as Netherlands once, and I think we we lost to Moldova. Uh, granted, it was on world class, but yeah, we were losing with Netherlands. And there goes a train by my house. I don't know if you could hear that. You probably can't because it was it was it's quite quiet. But anyway, yeah, we did manage to take an early lead in the first first few minutes with. Um, Swifty, and it was again a decent finish. But then they came back at us and had another chance. At, uh, 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 Emin gave away a penalty. He was already on a yellow card, but he didn't actually pick up a second yellow card. So yeah, in the 54th minute, they had a penalty kick to level it at one to one. Fortunately, though, my keeper stood up well and you know saved really well. And then I was thinking, right, okay, that was a warning time. We need to go and get the second goal, and we went for the second goal. But they came at us really well. They had a chance there to equalise. Then in the 81st minute, Resu fired a ball across and they just managed it just couldn't get on to the end of it so the game did finish Moldova nil pro playing game in HD1 but trust me they put me under a lot of pressure and for a while I thought they would equalise and take it to extra time fortunately they didn't though we managed to hold out and we managed to unlock I yeah we unlocked group G this time so yeah as you can see I've got the mosaic I decided to reject that player I did not want him he's pretty decent but it just you know it, it won't really improve my squad as such so I decided to unlock Hungary not Finland I built a road to Hungary so I've now got Hungary available and as it shows we have unlocked group G which starts off with Bulgaria so this is where I'm going to end the episode guys as always thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a like leave a comment leave a rating leave a favorite Leave anything you want that's not going to bug me. So yeah, um, yeah, I was, I, I was just about to say, as always, don't forget to, and I've already done that. I, I do that so many times. So yeah, for, um, don't forget to check out my channel as well, MTB Swifty. I will put a link in the description below. And as always, have a good week, guys. I will see you next episode. Peace out.